It's the Odd Man In. of the CXI Basketball Clinic. CXI is actually the Roman numeral for 111. It, um, it's how much I scored in my high school game. I had 111 points in my high school game. And just behind that 111 is, is just the inspiration and the mind frame to, to be able to do something like that. You know, I want these kids to, to have that mind frame when they think of CXI, they're thinking of potential. You know, succeeding and achieving that that potential that that may be unreachable to any other person. I mean, you guys really got to utilize camps like this. You know, obviously you got Denim here. You know, a legend in the city. So you know, you got to utilize camps, and he can teach you a lot. You know, I was a young kid just looking for a gym just to you know just to hoop at. You know, hoop. pretty much I just wanted to do something for the community. You know, something in the heart of the city somewhere where I grew up. You know, I grew actually grew up right here at 40 Falstaff uh, up until I was in grade five, you know. And all my ventures throughout my life and my basketball career, I'm now at a point where I want to give back to the kids and community. I want to develop a good relationship between myself and the kids, myself and parents, and you know, just a basketball community. I thought it was really good. It was uh, a lot of skills and drills and uh... For my son, it was awesome. He's been talking about it since he left here last night. Really, he said it's one of his favorite camps he's ever been to. He loved the fact that Denim Brown was here. He met Corey Joseph today. Yesterday, he was on YouTube checking out Denim Brown's videos and uh, some of his moves. You know, if you're a cancer in the locker room, they don't want no guys that's gonna mess up the chemistry. And I just came from a, uh, a program San Antonio Spurs, you know, we won a championship, we lost, we lost in the finals, we won in the finals, so we've been through a lot of ups and downs, but they always, it, in all those ups and downs, they, any player that came there, or any player that, you know, uh, was ever a San Antonio Spurs, you know they had good character, because that's all they really looked at, you know, they, really, they looked at that first before basketball, so, you know, you gotta take care of that. You know, a lot of kids are, are relying on their parents or their coaches or a friend to go and play basketball. They don't understand that you can do all these things by yourself. You can become a great player by yourself. So we did four drills that they can do all by themselves. Shooting on a gun, that's an individual, that's an individual thing. Doing the ladder, that's an individual thing. Doing um, hurdles, that's an individual thing. And doing the vertimax, that's an individual thing. And those are four things where you're achieving your goals for your body, your be being able to shoot and you're strengthening your body at the same time by yourself. You know, as I was growing up, you know, I was 14, 15 and I was playing against grown men. I never had that mind frame to where I was like, oh, I wanna play my age group. I wanna, I just wanna play my age group and be successful in that age group. I was fearless. As I said, these are things that when I work out, the things that I'm showing these kids, they're working out. I'm working and I'm showing them what I'm doing. So I don't want them to be learning just basic stuff i i don't care i don't have a i'm not discriminate i'm not discriminating on six years old and saying okay maybe they can't do two ball handling they can't do a pump fake step through they can't do a step back they can't do fadeaways i want them to be able to do these or have them in their head that they can do them from an early age and have that belief that okay i learned this last year so when i'm able to do it now it's not anything brand new it was the greatest experience of my life Awesome. Awesome.